Dear ignorant meat lovers, why do you justify your righteous abuse of animals by citing that we are on top of the food chain? You bring this up so often. Obviously, you have not thought about this in any relevant way, otherwise you would be embarrassed by your utter stupidity. Dear meat lovers, if you believe we are on top of the food chain because we are more powerful than other species, then you are siding with the philosophy that might makes right, the principle behind the worst atrocities and crimes of human history. We have and still claim supremacy through violence and the most immoral acts. We humans are on top of one thing, the pile of ignorance, crap and devastation we have created for the planet. We are merely part of an interdependent web of life that forms complex yet fragile ecosystems which we are dismantling with our selfishness. We have used our dominance to become a malignant tumour in the food chain. We use our unnatural advancements in tools and technology to gradually manipulate and enslave nature. Rather than coexist with animals and our planet, we have chosen to rape and dominate. We do more harm than good to the ecosystem, and our extinction would only greatly benefit the natural world. In 2013, ecologists used a statistical method of calculating a species trophic level, which is its level or rank in the food chain, based on its diet. The findings published in the Proceedings of the Natural Academy of Sciences scored humans at 2.21, on a scale of 1 to 5, roughly equal to an anchovy or a pig. On the low end of the scale are primary producers like plants, and on the higher end are pure apex predators, animals that only eat meat and have few or no predators of their own, such as tigers, crocodiles or boa constrictors. I've linked the study in the video description below. What is important in the food chain is that animals eat for survival, and the food that is available. They don't have a choice. Breeding animals into existence and the animal agriculture industry has nothing to do with the natural order and the food chain. It is a human perversion of nature. Let's use an analogy to demonstrate how ridiculous the top of the food chain argument is when used to justify eating meat through our dominance and power. Let's say the rich wanted to eat a minority race. As they discovered that eating their organs and flesh was tasty and nutritional, with no more negative side effects than eating animal meat, dairy and eggs. Let's say these minorities were rounded up in farms, and all their rights were taken away. Their babies were taken at birth, and humans were bred into existence by artificial insemination, and they were humanely killed by gas or a bolt gun to their head. In this scenario, these edible human delicacies are forced to live in these factory farms once lived in by cows, chickens and pigs, in the same inhumane conditions. The rich and powerful would argue we're on top of the food chain. Deal with it. Why deny me food that is beneficial? I'm an omnivore. Look at my canines. I'm just exercising my right to eat what is natural to me and beneficial. Lions eat their own species. Your plant-based alternatives and vegetables taste like crap. I need my protein and human bacon. Look at my canines. I would argue, dear rich people, that is not the food chain. These human factory farms are unnatural. You're not eating for survival but for pleasure and some perceived benefits. You can make a moral choice and eat wonderful plant-based alternatives, which science has proven you can thrive on. As the most powerful species, you dominate rather than protect the most vulnerable. You are failing. And they would counter with, I'm on top of the food chain, bro. Don't force me to go vegan. Don't force your beliefs on me. And I would say to that, go fuck yourself. Vegan Games says peace out.